Hey everyone, welcome, welcome again for uh, this Forty Minute Live, uh, and today I'm excited to talk about multi-cloud, SD-WAN, cloud on ramp, and we have Vince with us. Hey Vince, how are you doing? Hello, how's everyone doing? Awesome. So uh, you know, Vince, uh, you leading the adaptive cloud security at Fortinet, and uh, I'm managing on the security-driven networking side. Many times we see very interesting perspective on cloud, nested WAN. So I want to start off with, in general, today when we see working from anywhere and using so many different cloud applications, multi-cloud, I saw that almost. 90% plus organizations have multi cloud and uh, any uh, customer that i talk to 20 plus cloud applications they are using for their business critical unified communications or erp so i want to ask you what kind of challenges that they are running into when they are using this cloud and a saas application uh, and trying to get better user experience yeah that's a great question ira so you know For, to your point, 90% of organizations have hybrid, either hybrid or multi-clouds out there. And so when you have that in light of having the skill set shortages and now that everyone is, uh, we're all sheltering still and, and trying to adjust to this new new normal with a lot of uh, more cloud usage and applications, it's even more important to deliver a, a fundamentally um, high level of experience so that you don't miss a beat in this kind of environment. But part of that though is now you have more clouds, more points of deployments. And as a result of that, there's more overhead for a network security and cloud operation standpoint, you know, with more applications being used in cloud consumption. And so now as a result of that, teams are challenged today. They're truly challenged to try to keep on top of everything with consistent policies and trying to navigate cloud uh, and deliver the right level of service and security at the same time in terms of balance and, and uh, security. Now, so, Let me ask you this question, though. You know, as we kind of talk about the challenges of cloud and multi-cloud, I, I think what's really important, Arav, is is the the concept of connecting it from the on-premises through the cloud on-ramp and then into the cloud. So, what, what's your take on that? Yeah, I think uh, I would say that's really becoming very important, right? Because when I'm at branch or a campus and connecting to this multi-cloud, cloud on-ramp and challenges related to those are important to solve. I think in my conversation with customers, I see three things. Right, the number one is how do I connect to cloud in a very simple way? Right, how do I make sure that when I'm going to those workloads in a cloud, I'm able to optimize that, and while I'm doing this, I'm able to automate things so it's easier for my users to manage. And uh, many solutions out there uh, are struggle to provide this kind of connectivity simplification. And optimization of user experience. I think that's the number one thing, Vince, that I hear of using applications, but having a better user experience, better way to manage that, right? And and that brings me, Vince, to a question where, you know, we talked about challenges both from a multi-cloud perspective and from a cloud on-prem perspective. What do you think, in a view, where are where is the industry going? What should we be doing to solve those problems? Well, you know, it, it's funny if, if you think about the, the the evolution of where applications live and reside. You went from single point to multi point distributions to server workloads, and then you're going back into a single point, moving towards cloud. But then, as as, as companies are looking at rolling things into cloud, they realize the benefits of that and using sometimes um, multiple clouds and multiple hybrid data center combinations of clouds. And the result of that, you know, the, the reason for that is it could be a technical reason, it could be a legacy thing, it could be merging things and making things faster and easier and better experience for the customers. Now, so what that brings us to is where applications live shouldn't really matter. And so what can, what companies are challenged to do is to take that same sort of paradigm of using multi-cloud and delivering you know, a seamless, secure application experience to their customers and interconnecting the applications across Clouds, regions, data centers, and making it completely transparent. You know, users don't care. Users only want to have their applications and their experience in the best possible manner, and they really don't care how it's done on the back end. So I think that's really where the challenges are. And unfortunately, the reality is, with all these companies making these cloud transformations, sometimes you know business priorities overrule 
uh, operational efficiency and maybe sometimes sound security practices. Um, and, and you know, I, and I really think that that's really the big challenge is how do you balance superior seamless quality of experience for applications to its users while balancing out, you know, making sure that you have the best security and compliance and uh, consistent policies across all these different different points of de uh, deployments there. Um, so, I mean, you know, go ahead, Nimrod. Vince, I really like, one thing I want to say, I really like the way you talked about secure connectivity, seamless connectivity, and superior user experience. I think this is exactly what I think is what uh, customers are asking and uh, what we are delivering it. And, and, and great to see have you talked about the challenges to what the end state should be? So I'm excited about that. In fact, that brings to a good discussion about Fortinet secure SD WAN leadership, right? Uh, when I see what we have done in the last five, six years of becoming a true leader of secure SD WAN, one of the big use cases is cloud on ramp, is about making that efficient operation. And working with you and your team and what we have done by not only providing the broadest, I think industry's broadest multi-cloud sd wan portfolio, but also the broadest cloud on-ramp portfolio. And I know you have some exciting announcement to share with all of us today, which is great to see using a combination of multi-cloud sd wan using a cloud drop sd wan Our end goal is we are providing a security, we are providing a seamless experience, and all of this is with superior user experience. So I really like how you use those terms but why don't you tell us a little bit more on multi-cloud SD-WAN? How do we differentiate that in the market and with this cloud on ramp? Oh, absolutely. So, you know, if you think about it, you, you have you know, typical traditional models of, of networking, and then you improve that with SD-WAN, and then now as you move into cloud, there's a cloud on ramp to bring on-premises for the user experience perspective to connect it into the cloud. Now, once you get to the cloud, again, you go back to the hybrid and multi-cloud environments, you need to make sure that everything is interconnected. Applications can reside in different clouds as with, as do data, but you know they, they work together. You don't have clouds in isolation or applications in isolation. They're interconnected. They talk to each other. They talk to the users. And as a result of that, you need to create a seamless, scalable way to make sure that all these different points of deployment, again, are interconnected. And ideally, you're connecting this with something like the security fabric, where you're bringing it together with, with secure, consistent policies across you know, across all your entire deployment, whether it's within region or across the globe. You know, even if you're using uh, other providers' backbone, all that stuff needs to be under sort of some sort of uh, centralized control and visibility to kind of bring and simplify the experience. Otherwise, if you think about it, if I had to go and manage clouds individually with applications on each cloud with different technologies individually and separately from each other, the amount of workload and the amount of, of, of gaps in visibility is tremendous. And with that tremendous amount of visibility gap, that's an opportunity for attackers to just come in without anyone knowing it, come in and do things that you don't want them to do. Uh, and so as a result of that, you know, interconnecting things with seamless consistent policies on a singular security platform and to make that really easy, consistent, and predictable, I, I think it's probably one of the number one things I would say is, is critical from a cloud on ramp perspective. Um, so, so Narav, with that said, I, I think one of the things to kind of also consider, right, is if you think about the cloud deployment scenario, it, there's a combination of public and private clouds, and you, there's a combination of different cloud providers such as Google. And one of the things that we really work hard at it, it with both the adaptive cloud security and the foreign net working on, you know, on top of the security fabric is to make the cloud operations, security operations, and network operations as seamless and easy as possible. You know, it's, you know multi cloud is hard. No one ever said multi cloud is is easy, and you know, it, but it's a necessary evil. And so our job, I think, you know, at least from from my perspective and the company's perspective, is to make that as simple and easy as possible for our customers. And I think a great example is uh, what we're announcing. Um, this week, uh, and that is the integration with Google uh, Cloud's Network Connectivity Center, which then makes it really easy for us to deploy FortiGates and FortiGate SD WAN. You know, one of I think the very best security solutions and the broadest SD WAN security solutions out there, uh, and connecting that seamlessly into a Google cl Cloud environment, so that if there's a hyper cloud, or a multi cloud, or even a singular cloud with Google. It's a really sim seamless process to simplify that security and operations aspect for, for our customers. Yeah. 
No, that's great. Uh, that's exciting that uh, we continue on our journey of uh, cloud on ramp. And today we are announcing a deep integration with Google Cloud uh, on NCC. But you know, this you also mentioned some really good points that that I like. That when we talk about cloud, uh, there are three pieces there. There is from a branch or a campus to the cloud, between the cloud, which is multi-cloud, and within the cloud. And Fortinet is uniquely positioned to not only provide security in all three use cases, but also SD-WAN benefits. And this is all organically developed part of the one OS. And now we are expanding this to Google Cloud and CC. We already have done that with Azure Virtual WAN, AWS. So again, this is why I said earlier where we were number one in providing the broadest SD-WAN in multi-cloud. Now again, we are getting the broadest cloud on-ramp support and have the middle mile connectivity with Megaport and many more. And great to see how we are simplifying those challenges that we talked about at the beginning. And great to see that we are listening to the customers and solving these problems to provide that secure, seamless, and superior user experience. Any any closing thoughts, Vince, before uh, we, we, we wrap up here? But you, I'm sure there's something else you want to share here. Yeah, absolutely. So, so I, I think. Everything you said, Nirav, is spot on. I, but I think that, you know the, the other thing that goes on top of that for our customers uh, that uses Fortinet for their SD WAN and multi cloud SD WAN solution is that with that in our security fabric, we have the entire adaptive cloud security portfolio. And one of the biggest philosophies I think that that matters is that we allow our customers to secure any application on any cloud. And as a result of that, if you think about it, you have the broadest security portfolio with the broadest uh, coverage of use cases for SD WAN and, and, for cl and cloud on ramp and multi cloud with the ability to have, provide security for any app on anywhere. So, from a, from a cloud perspective, if you look at the future of, of, of companies moving towards cloud, it becomes as simple as they were if they were just doing it uh, back in the old school ways of having just a singular system. It should be seamless. And so, uh, we're really excited so that, you know, for, awesome. for us to be able to offer these integrations for. Uh, for our customers. It's always great chatting with you, Vince, and learning new things. Thank you. Excited about this new announcement and this new innovation. So again, thank you for your time. Thanks, Narav. It's been great talking about this. Thanks for the opportunity.